Hi, my name is Valentina, and I'm here with my classmate Sofia. Hi, my name is Sofia, and we're both studying. Today, we want to present to you the research we've made about Van Gogh's painting called The Potato Eaters. More specifically, our presentation will be focused on three main criteria, which we thought were most important. These three will be color, the story behind this painting, and the emotions or the message it transmits. The question we want to ask you is, have you wondered what hides behind the potato eaters and why this was the work of art Van Gogh thought of as his best piece? Well, during this presentation, we will give you some answers to that question, focusing, as I mentioned before, on three main points. And as we explain them, you'll get why we chose them. To start off, we need to know a little more about this painting. So let's go. The piece was painted by the famous artist Vincent van Gogh in April 1885 in the province of Nuenen, Netherlands. After Vincent's death, the painting was passed on to his family and later on transferred to the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam, where it still remains and can be visited. Based on our research, the Potato Eaters is one of Van Gogh's work of art with the strongest representation of humanity and moral beauty within the colors. For not only did the colors play a role in the making of the painting, but also the story behind the family and their relationship with the artist. So, firstly, we will discuss one of the most important criteria when talking about paintings, which is the color. We will discuss how it was used within the painting and how the artist made use of a dark palette, as well as to why he may have used earth tone colors for the five figures shown, and how he even managed to make a good color composition with the only light source being the lamp in the middle. In our opinion, the combination of these earthy tones creates a balance that is soothing, but it still creates a feeling of darkness. The use of the greens and dark browns around the faces gives a resemblance of a dusty potato. You can see the dust-like environment around them. The end of the day, by the darkness of the dining room and the resemblance to the potatoes they are eating. The use of the dark palette of colors caused by the oil lamp being the only source of light in the cottage blends perfectly, creating a harmony, showing an aesthetically pleasing concept. The center of the lamp slowly fades into darker shades, having at the edges of this masterpiece a combination of really dark browns and blacks, making it hard to notice the objects that hide in the darkness. The colors are relevant to the message Van Gogh was trying to evoke, it shows the roughness of the villagers as well as giving the perception of a hard-working, unprivileged family. The colors used also have to do with the poor amount of light that was offered in the set where the painting took place. So we could say that the use of this dark palette was unintentional, but it fit perfectly. Also, the focus on the family is related with the fact that they are one of the objects within the painting that receive the most light, and the rest of the things presented, like the windows for example, is mostly imperceptible to the eye. Behind every work of art, there is a story to tell. Behind every painting, there was a scene being played. As for the provenance of the potato eaters, Curator of paintings Marte van Dijk mentions the process Bingo had to overcome to come up with the idea for the potato eaters. Bingo painted approximately 50 faces to get to the final painting, as he told his brother Theo in one of the letters he sent to him. He loved the expressions the peasants had, that feeling of tiredness. He as well chose a family, having dinner, since it was a currently used subject. This scene was already used by other artists, so Van Gogh decided to go with what was trendy at the time. Van Gogh painted a family of five members, four of them female and one male. Two of the members of the family 
are eating from the potato platter. The other two are serving the coffee and a little girl is standing up since children used to stand up for dinner at the time. We could tell from the painting that this is a humble family living in a small cottage, having their last meal for the day and eating what they had at home. The painting's background explains perfectly the humanity within the work of art. The way they go so more beauty in the peasant's expressions and the way they lived. He portrayed what was real and unique to his sight. You can get the background story by just looking at the way they used to live and their physics, their bony hands, their tiredness of their faces. And we are allowed to see the beauty Bengo once saw in the peasant's life. This work of art, as many others, was made with feeling and emotions put into it by the artist. In this case, Van Gogh. But aside from that, what made Van Gogh consider this painting as one of his best pieces was the message behind it. He saw it as a really important message, and this piece was his way of transmitting that message. By what my partner Sophia has mentioned, and by our research, it is noted that Van Gogh was trying to evoke a really strong message that was focused on reflecting the harsh reality of the peasant's way of living, and that's why the five figures had to be the main point of focus. Not only that, but also every detail that could or would make the painting more reflective of this harsh reality included the unintentional palette of dark colors was of utmost importance. To get a more detailed explanation of Van Gogh's message, we turn to a really interesting video, in which according to researcher Garrett, and I quote as she mentions in this video, Van Gogh told his brother he wanted to show the people who have tilled the earth themselves with these hands they are putting in this dish, that they have thus honestly earned their food. What Van Gogh mentioned to his brother makes us see how he really wanted the message to be the central point by strongly representing humanity in its most pure moment, which he tries to transmit in the painting by showing the five figures in their most humble way of living, with no filter at all. To make it more remarkable, he paints their hands showing the bone structure and the dirt in them to reflect the idea of hard-working hands. While making this painting, Van Gogh became closer to these people. He defended them and lived their poverty. This makes the piece distinguishable from his other pieces, as it is in a plant-produced painting, unlike other popular ones, in which someone would be asked to pose, and the focus would be the technical perfection, the correct use of angles, etc. It makes us really see Van Gogh's empathy and compassion for others. To conclude, we can tell that Van Gogh's work of art, The Potato Eaters, strongly represents humanity and beauty within the real and simple expressions in the peasants' faces. Van Gogh portrays the humbleness and simplicity. He created an environment of comfort and charm without losing the portrayal of their reality, their tiredness. As we mentioned, the palette of colors was pretty relevant to the message he wanted to evoke. Alongside all this, he had to go through a whole process in order to come up with the final product of the potato eaters, which is a remarkable work. So, by all of this, we can see that if we know what really hides behind the painting, the story it tells, we get a better understanding of it, because a painting isn't only composition. We have to go deeper into it to be able to connect with the artist's emotions and really get the painting as what it is representing as a whole. The connection we make with art, the reason why we find something beautiful, always has to do with the feeling we get when looking at it or even thinking about it. So, does knowing the story behind the painting, aside from the artistic components such as color, light, etc., makes this painting more beautiful or harsher, or both. In the end, it is up to the eye of the beholder. Thank you for your attention and we hope you found the potato eaters as enchanting as we find it.